Immigrants are one of the heroes in this labor market recovery. You don't see the headlines anymore about the labor shortages. We got more labor, not fewer customers. That's what the Fed does. Immigrants are not the only group, but they have come in big time and taken jobs that were open. Right? We have not seen the unemployment rates for U.S. born individuals rising. It's more for the foreign born because it takes a little while to get all the papers or find the job. So really, they solved a big problem and are taking pressure off of employment. So when we think about them in the labor market, and the econ- they're doing some real good. Uh, Claudia, again, uh, the really strong non-farm payroll data coming out today. I want to focus on the average hourly earnings here on an annualized basis, 4.1 percent, ticking down a little bit from last period, 4.3 percent. How do you think about the the wage environment in the U.S. labor market? So in general, we've seen the labor market really settle into a good good rhythm. We had a big payroll number today, but you look back over several months, they've been pretty good. Little change. Like if we settle into an expansion, and the same goes for wages. We have seen wages be stronger, and yet inflation has been coming down. Right? We can have a more productive, more workers, and that can support a more dynamic economy. So wage growth is probably still going to come down some. We are still working through, you know, getting the workers in, and um, we're not going to see the big wage gains again during the labor shortages. It's probably what we should expect. We got to get to a sustainable expansion, and yet there is no reason to fear those numbers. Right? They have not been inflationary in the way that some people were worried a year or two ago. So, Claudia, um, just looking at the futures markets uh, in the Fed swaps here, it looks like the market's pushing out a rate cut. Uh, maybe that June isn't even a lock anymore. How do you think the Federal Reserve is going to react to some of the could data today? Could you see today? her as a governor of the Fed? Oh, absolutely. My, <laughs> could you, right in when they, when yeah. they order out pizza, Claudia would go nuts. I mean, it'd be like a healthier <laughs> diet. Exactly. Claudia, yeah. how do you think the Fed's going to react to some of the data we saw today? So the Fed lives, lives in the real world. Right, so they're looking at these jobs, but next week is really the main event. Okay. Right, they have said multiple times inflation has got to come down. They are not weighing in on oh, the unemployment rate is too high or the economy is growing too strong. That's not their job. Right, they've got to get inflation down to two percent and unemployment low. And if this economy, you know, has you know the legs and can keep running, that is not for the Fed to step in and stop. They don't want to. They just want their dual mandate, and their job is done. So, I, but I, I see it like I'm uncomfortable with the fact that we don't talk about the risk to the labor market. And yet, I mean, frankly, you get these good jobs numbers, you know, it likely unless right. something blows up, it'll take time. And this is a very like, you know, they're they're kind of, they're really scared of acting too fast. So, yeah, I think pushing things out, right. I do not see them not cutting. I think that is too uh, pessimistic. You know, I, I look, Claudia, it's your wonderful essay, and you've got out of Vanderbilt, Rachel Donnelly and Adam Schoenbachler talking about the difference of the states of all of our audience. you got states with high wages, high social benefits. They've got a different attitude than states that say, go out and get a job. We're not going to give you any benefits. Who has a better labor economy out of that? What I like to say about this labor market is take the win. We have had a massive recovery and frankly move past that in terms of working on some structural problems we had before and yet keep pushing, right? Like there are ways and particularly people on the margins, part-time jobs fit in that space, also low paid full-time jobs. Not every job in this country is good enough. A lot of them are even those have gotten better. And yes, these researchers looked at the importance of decoupling a lot of the benefits that we need from employment and particularly from full-time employment, and it pays dividends to people, obviously, and it makes our economy more productive. Workers that are really engaged, like, right. they, they can do more. 